Hey everybody, this is Chef Chris with Forbes here in Wallace. Today we're in the test kitchen and we're going to talk about Victorinox. We're going to go over basic knife safety as well as the five most common knives you're going to see in the kitchen. Again, I'm going to show you how to properly hold the knife. You take the blade, use your fingers to pinch just above the handle, wrapping your fingers around, a nice solid grip on there. Now that I've showed you how to properly hold a knife, let's cover the five common knives you'll see in the kitchen. First off, we'll start with a paring knife. This will be your, for your fine knife work, such as mincing shallots and cutting strawberries. Second, we'll talk about our boning knife. This is a flexible knife, primarily used for separating meat from bones, such as deboning a chicken or even cutting fish fillets. You'll see the nice flexibility of the blade. Third, we'll talk about our serrated knife. This is a great knife for doing anything such as slicing bread, uh, cutting a tomato, anything with a tough outer skin, this really helps get through them. Fourth, we'll talk about our slicing or carving knife. This is perfect for a carving station at a banquet or even just slicing meat in general. And last, we'll talk about our chef's knife. This is our all-purpose utility knife. If you can only have one knife in the kitchen, this is what you want to go with. Next up, I'm going to use a couple of these knives to show you how to make my favorite summer side dish, guacamole. So to make the guacamole, first we're going to start by making pico. For that, we're going to need red onion, tomato, cilantro, jalapeno, and lime juice. So we'll take our onion that's been split in half and the skin taken off the outside. We're going to slice this into half rounds. We're going to take those half circles and start dicing. A good use for the paring knife is mincing jalapenos. For the cilantro and the tomato, I'm going to use the chef knife. The best way to cut this tomato is to take the top and the bottom off and remove the core so that we're just eating the flesh of the tomato. I'm going to ever so slightly cut into the flesh and then slowly start curving it as we cut. For the cilantro, we're going to remove it from the stem and then finally chop it up. One of the questions I get asked a lot is how do you properly clean an avocado? I'm going to show you that now. Start from the top, make sure you move the stem, push into the avocado until you hit the seed, and then just roll around the seed. Twist, pop it off. The seed can be very difficult to get out, especially with your fingers. So one thing you can do is just gently tap it with your knife twist it, and then from the back side of the blade, push off the seed. Take a nice wide mouth spoon, just roll it around the skin, pops right out. Now that we've made the pico and mashed up the avocados, let's finish off the guac. So we'll need to add some lime juice. So we'll go ahead and cut these limes in half, go ahead and juice them. Next, we're going to add a nice big dollop of roasted garlic. Pinch of salt, mix it up, make sure it's nice and well incorporated. And then start adding our pico. Notice with our knife cuts, everything's nice and consistent in here. And there you have it, fresh guacamole.